everyone welcome back to the protector tutorial in this video we are going to talk about input fields like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting i'm going to skip the part to find the elements or locators within the dom and i believe that you have a basic knowledge of dom if not probably you can watch any of the selenium tutorial of course we will talk about the specific locators in protector like model or binding maybe in another video so the first one here it says that enter first name and last name right i have already created a spec file named as inputs.spec.js and here i am going to create a describe block where the first argument should be your test suite name right and then i am going to create a callback function and here i am going to create a block where i am going to say enter first and last name and here we are going to write our actual code right so first thing first we have to invoke the browser for that i am going to use browser dot get and i am getting suggestion because of this import statement but we know that we cannot run using the import statement so i am going to give you a work around here but we will fix that in next video so const and i am going to say driver equal to i am going to just import the protector api that is using repair function okay now whenever i am going to call any objects or any methods from protector api i have to use the driver keyword so here i can say driver dot browser and then i can use the get function now if i mouse over here i can see the documentation right that means we are able to see the import statement similar kind of thing so i'm going to pass the url here and then we have to type here right so i'm going to inspect this and here we can see that it has id right so i am going to take this id and here i have to say driver dot element so element is the method which is similar to your find element in selenium and here i have to say driver dot by and here i have to say sorry not this so driver dot by dot id and here i have to say the value right now here i can use the method send keys so i have to close the bracket and then dot send keys here i have to pass my actual value right so i'm going to pass that now if i don't use this driver then probably i won't get any suggestion the actual syntax looks like this element then followed by by dot id and here i have to pass the value then dot send keys okay but if you notice whenever i am going to type i am not getting any suggestions right here if i mouse over it says that any that means it doesn't know from where it is going to come but since browser or any of the method from protector api is global we can run your code without even using any request statement or import statement but the problem is when we are going to learn if id doesn't going to give us any suggestion then we might face some compile time issue right so that is why we are using this request statement here now i'm going to comment this and let us run this first and we know that browser is going to close as soon as the test case is completed that is how protector works but we can disable that maybe we'll see that in later on videos as of now i'm just going to add some sleep so that you can see what is happening over the browser so here i'm going to say driver dot browser dot sleep now i'm going to give five seconds that is 5000 milliseconds and here i am going to run this right so here i have a spec file sorry i have a conf file where i have set the framework direct connection equal to true and also i have said what is my spec name so i am going to run this so cd interact fusion so within the folder i am going to say protractor and here i have to say the file name that is conf.js okay so i have done a spelling mistake sorry for that Okay, so the website has been loaded and also it has typed the value as my name right 
So after the five seconds, it should close automatically. Yeah, perfect done. But if you have noticed, you see that browser is in this particular size, right? It is not maximized. So we are going to write a code to maximize the browser as well. So what can we do is we know that before each and before all methods. So probably I can use that. So I want to maximize and load the URL only once, right? So here I can use the before all. So whatever the code which is going to execute only once, probably you can write that within the before all. Now that is not any necessary or it is like mandatory to do. Just to enhance our code, I can do that. So I'm going to load the URL and then I'm going to maximize, right? So here I'm going to say driver dot browser and then manage is the method which is going to give us the window object. So dot window and here I can maximize using the window. So dot maximize. Okay. Now in the previous video, we have discussed that protector runs asynchronous, right? That means it doesn't going to execute in the same order. But when we run this or when we are going to run this, this is going to run in the same sequence. The reason is 90% of the time protector has enhanced to run the JavaScript code to run in sequence. But there are some situation where it doesn't going to work on the same way. So for that, we have learned what is async and await, right? So we are going to implement that as well. So here, the next one is appended text, right? So we are going to append a text and also we have to use the tab keyboard, keyboard tab, right? So let me inspect this. And here we can see we have a ID which is joined, right? So I'm going to copy this. And here I'm going to write another it block where I'm going to say append and tab. And here if I write something, this is going to happen. And once I click on the tab, here you can see that it is going to highlight, right? So let us do that in the same way. So here I have to say driver dot element. And within that, I have to give by dot ID. And here I have to pass the ID value. Now I'm going to use the dots and keys same method. And here I'm going to say I'm a good maybe person. And here we have to use the tab, right? So to use the tab, we have to call protector.keys.tab. So here I'm going to use my driver object. So driver dot protractor dot key and then key is the property and using the property we are going to call the tab here right that's it pretty much fine it is going to close the browser very soon so i have to add another sleep but we know that we are expecting sleep after each and every it block right so obviously we can use that within the after each right so here i'm going to say after each so it is going to work after each and every it block and here i'm going to use the callback function to give browser.sleep and maybe not the five seconds, we can give three seconds to save our time. And here I'm going to run this again. Now watch carefully this time, once the browser has been loaded, it should maximize the browser as well, right? Okay, so it is waiting for the three seconds and here you can see, and also it has tabbed, right? Now here we can see that two specs has been passed, zero failure, right? That's pretty cool. So I'm going to hide this terminal using control J and let's write another thing. So here it says that what is inside that text box. So we have to get the value which is present inside the text box, right? So I'm going to inspect this and here I can see that it is inside the value, right? Now to get the value, we have a function called get attribute. Within the get attribute, we have to pass what is the value we are going to fetch from. So here I can see that this is attribute, right? So this is attribute and this is the correspondent value. So here we have to find this first one. So get me is the locator name. I mean locator value. And here I'm going to say it and get the value. And here we are going to use the callback function. 
and here i'm making to say driver dot element then again driver dot by dot id and within the id i'm going to pass the value right now we can store this in a variable as well so let so i'm just going to give the name as get me and from the get me we want to use the value right so get me dot get attribute is the method and here i have to pass this attribute name which is value right now this is going to return me a string so i'm going to store that let value maybe equal to this one right now let us console dot log so we know that we are not going to get the value but actually we are going to get the promises right so to fix that we can use the async and await concept here right so here i'm going to say await and we know that whenever we are going to use the await keyword the function should be of async right so here i'm going to say async that's pretty cool now let's try to run this so i'm not going to run this everything so let's not waste our time so i'm going to use the f here so instead of disabling this i can focus on this spec alone right so let me open my terminal and let me run again okay so it is waiting for because of the after each now here we can see that it gives us let code dot in right which is this actual value right so using this async and await we can get the things very easily but if you use then and catch then that is also fine but it is going to take the number of lines extra and also the syntax is like vague right so you get the idea right so let me focus on the next one so here it says that we have to clear this value right so let me find this again and here we have id called clear me right so i'm going to create a another eight block and here i'm going to say clear me and within the id i have to pass this value right now here we have a method called clear so which is going to clear the value which is present inside the text box so i'm going to focus this alone and after that i am going to run again so here you can see that the value has been cleared right now let's see the next one so here it says that we have to find the we have to confirm that the field is disabled now field is disabled because here we have this attribute called disabled equal to true right but in certain conditions this can be disabled as well using the css value or the javascript values in the runtime so it is not mandatory that you should always have this disabled field equal to true but if there is a field called disable equal to true or false then only we can identify using the function called is enabled so here i'm going to say another it block and within the it block i'm going to say confirm i can just copy and paste and we have to find the id which is no edit right and here i can say is enabled okay so is enabled is going to return your promises of boolean right so here we can see the documentation it says that a promise that will be served with the element current instead of just is out i can confirm right so i can accept that so here i'm going to use the expect condition so i'm going to store this in a value so let okay so to confirm that i can use the expect condition right so here we'll print this first then we'll use the like expect so here i'm going to say is editable but we know that this is going to return us promise right so we have to use the async and await so here i'm going to say await and i'm going to make this function as async so let me focus on this alone so f and let me run again
and we have got the output as false right so it's enabled equal to false that means obviously it is not editable right so that is what here it says that disabled equal to true so that means we cannot do any edit right so that is what we are checking here as well now we can confirm that using expect condition and here i can say is editable dot to be false now here i no need to use the await keyword i can use but i can skip that because expect has the capability to solve the promises and then it is going to check for the actual value so let me run again and show you okay so here we can see that we are getting green so obviously it means that our test case has been passed right now here we can see that ran one of five because obviously we have used this f statement right so f it right now the here we have said that disabled equal to true that means enable equal to false right so that is what we are getting this as false to print the statement you have to use async and await but when we are going to pass that within the expect condition we can skip the await keyword but most of the time it is recommended to use but however protector has configured the jasmine expect to resolve the promise we will talk about this expect in more detail in upcoming videos so do not worry about it as of now so let us do one thing so i'm going to remove this f and also i'm going to comment this after each and let us try to run everything in a sequence okay so the browser is going to maximize and the test case was really quick so you can see that right so here we can see that five fakes pass and zero failures right we'll fail the test case intentionally and also we'll learn how to solve the uh, exception or how to read the exception in protector we have built this let code dot in website and here if you go to this workspace you can handle most almost everything so to learning you can use this website and there is no restriction you can start to your friends and as well so i hope you have enjoyed the video and this is a really quick demo i believe so this is going to be very easy if you know selenium the methods and the functions are everything are almost same i can say but the thing is only how to handle the promises so let's quickly recap then we can wind up so send case is the method to type in a text box and here we are saying that appending so by default whenever you are going to use the send case it is going to append to the existing value so if you don't want to append then you have to use the clear method so dot clear is the function you have to use that then you can use the send keys and now to use the tab we can use this protector dot key dot tab apart from tab we have almost everything which we have in our keyboard so alt control arrow down arrow up everything right after that we are using this get attribute to get the value from the text box please remember there is get text and get attribute whenever you are going to get a value from the input field you have to use the get attribute and whenever you are going to take any text visible text within the ui then you have to use the get text function probably we'll see that in later on videos and then we have this is enabled to confirm that we are not able to edit the text box right so i'm going to wind up things right now see you very soon don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button i got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together